do. So let's go ahead and get right to work with these assessments. The first assessment that I'd like you to take is your fact assessment. You need to make sure that your name is on it. This is not a sheet where your parent is going to check it or an older brother, sister, or a grandma, or an auntie, or an uncle. This is not one of those tests, okay? Uh, this is a sheet that you're going to do on your own, and then you are going to have it put into your folder. They're not going to check your answers to make sure that they're all correct. This is just as if we were in the classroom together. We took the test and you handed it in to me. Okay? So with that in mind, I just want to review some things with you. This week we were taking a look at sums of 11. So you will have answers, sums, that are 11. You will also have review facts. If you need to make yourself a number line at the top, make a number line. If you would like to use your red folder as a helper, you are allowed to use your red folder. Okay, use the resources that you have that we've been using to help you if you need it. So you're going to go ahead and work on this fact assessment first. So I'd like you to pause me and do your fact assessment. When you're done with your fact assessment though, come back because I am going to read through your written assessment with you. All right, so you should be done with your fact assessment. If you just kept on listening to the video uh, and didn't actually pause, pause now. All right, so now you should be done for sure with your fact assessment. So we are going to go through the written assessment. For your written assessment today, you will need to have a red, blue, and green crayon. Red, blue, and green. Okay. So make sure that you have those. And then I need you to make sure that your name is on it and the date. Today's date is November 13th, 2020. November 13th, 2020. You'll remember that since November is the name of a month, it needs to have a capital letter because it's a proper noun. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I will read all of this for you, but you are responsible for putting all of the answers. I cannot give you any of the answers and neither can any of the adults that are around you at home. All right, here we go. Stephen has four dimes. Mark has two dimes. <clears throat> How many dimes do they have all together? Draw a picture and write a number sentence for this story. Write the answer with a label. I will read it one more time and then you can get to work. Remember that it's okay to underline the important pieces as you're reading. Stephen has four dimes. Mark has two dimes. How many dimes do they have all together? Now I underline dimes because it's our label. Okay. Draw a picture and write your number sentence with your answer. I'm going to move to number two. If you still need more time, pause the video and finish up, and then you can continue with number two. I have seven dimes and two pennies. How much money is that? I 
I have seven dimes and two pennies. How much money is that? That was the first one. I have three tens and eight ones. How much is that? I have three tens and eight ones. How much is that? Number three, count by tens. And the second one is count by fives. Count by tens, count by fives. Right, if you need more time, you go ahead and pause. We're going to continue on with number four. You needed red, blue, and green. You needed red, blue, and green for number four. All right, take a look at these circles. You're going to color the circle that's divided into fourths red. So look at these circles, which of them is divided into fourths. You're going to color that circle red. The circle divided into fourths is red. Color the circle divided into halves blue. The circle divided into halves, color it blue. And color the circle divided into eighths green. Color the circle divided into eighths green. <clears throat> Excuse me. Numbers five and six you should be able to do on your own. Find the sums 40 plus 10, 10 plus 80, and 10 plus 70, and fill in those missing add-ins. We've been practicing that. I've given you some tips for how to do that. So fill those in as well. When you are done with this sheet and you're done with your fact assessment, then this is going to go into your Friday folder. 